Most of you have a car, right? And it's got air conditioning and heating. Do you use it? Of course you do. You adjust it. That makes the driving experience better. Well, adjustability in your driver is the same type of deal. The fact is, 80% of golfers don't do anything with the adjustable features on their driver. Every adjustable driver comes with its own wrench, and the wrench is designed to adjust ball flight. Up and down, left to right, correct to slice. Now, manufacturers are going at adjustability in two different ways. Some offer the traditional array of lofts with adjustability within each loft. Others have one head that adjusts to a range of lofts that may stretch across four different degrees. So how do you know which setting on your new adjustable driver is the right one for you? The easy answer and my stock answer is you've got to go to a fitter to get any club in your bag, most especially a driver. But beyond that, you need to know how an adjustable driver works. So get yourself two buckets of balls the minute you buy this adjustable driver. Go out on the range with the wrench, make adjustments, see what your ball flight is, and see what adjustment changes that ball flight. Let's say your ball rolls more than it carries in the air. That's a good sign that you need more loft. Adjust the hosel, increase the loft, solve the problem. How about the slice? Well, what you want to do is close the face angle. Again, loosen the hosel, move it to a closed setting. You won't eliminate the slice, but you'll mitigate its damage. Once you know a problem has been solved, your confidence level increases. And when your confidence level increases, your swing speed increases.